Like, there's no way you're trying to tell me that this is 30, even stretched. What's this? But anywho. Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I am back with the second Timu wig review. Because if you saw the first one, you saw that I bought two. I did the unboxing for one, but y'all saw I had two in the package. So this is the second one. As you can see, we did get further than we did with the last one, so. Yeah, but you still need to stick around for, for the story. But yeah, I'm going to be unboxing the wig with y'all. And then we will get into me toning the hair because I did tone this wig ash blonde, as y'all see by the title. And we'll get into plucking, the install, and styling. So yeah, if you want the details on this unit and you want to see how this played out and how I got here and my final thoughts on the unit, then keep on watching. Okay, y'all, so you may be here from the first video, and if you're not, you need to go back and watch that video. If you did come from the last video, then you already saw me open, like, the package, like, the, the full package with both wigs in it. So, and you already know that I ordered two wigs. Again, it came in this, if you didn't see the last video, but it came in this package, and then both wigs were inside of here. It says Timu. Timu. So, I already opened the first one, which was her. So if you haven't seen it and you would like to see how she turned out, then go watch the first video. If you've already seen it, then you're all caught up and we're good. So let's open the second one, cause I'm really excited. I didn't want to wait till the day I filmed the video to open them. So I'm pre-recording the unboxing, probably like weeks in advance. Here is the second, oh, let me show y'all. Does this one have a sticker on it? Like the first one, yes it does. So here's the sticker with the codes and whatever you feel the need to look up or whatever you need to do. But the wigs will be linked below, but this one says 30 in right here I don't know what that first oh golden I don't know what I thought that said golden 30 inch so you can probably already guess what color it is it's not gold obviously but you can probably already guess we have another blonde wig similar to the Shein wig video that I did y'all haven't seen that we link right here but she's supposed to be 30 inches looking a little sharp but I don't think I'm gonna dye this one like I did in the Shein wig video I don't think I'm gonna dye this one I really want to wear just straight blonde or like like an icy blonde or an ash blonde. I don't know, but y'all will know by the thumbnail. But I wanna wear it blonde first because I've been wanting to wear blonde hair. I've been dying for a blonde unit for a while. So anyway, this one did not come with a wig cap or lashes. The first one did. It just came with this, which let's open this up and see what this is. An extra cone that you can sew in and an elastic band that I'm assuming you can sew into the back because I'm assuming it's not already one in there like in the first unit. In the first unit, it's already one in there with the bra hook so you can put it in, take it out if you want to. And you can tighten it because it's got, you know, rows of hooks so you can make it tighter or looser. So let's open the wig now because I know that's what we all want to see. Y'all don't care about this. All right, so here she is and she's a body wave unit. Comes with the hairnet over it. I'm so excited. I haven't had blonde in so long and I really want to do something cute. Okay, and then it's got all this get up on here. Let's take all this off. So this one is supposed to be a 13 by 4 unit as well. It looks like the same construction as the other one. The hair on the sides, it only goes back to here. So that's obviously not 4 inches because the hairline starts here. But it's 4 inches in the middle area. The hairline looks pretty decent, but I'll probably still pluck it anyway. Y'all know me. And of course, we will be toning these knots. And for those of you that want to come in the video and say, oh, I shouldn't have to do all that and I don't want to do all that to a wig, don't. Okay, don't. Nobody's making you do that. But if y'all be wondering why your wig look wiggy and not natural is because you're not doing that and there are also companies that make wigs that are already ready to go they're already pre-plucked and bleached knots and all of that so if that's the type of wigs you want go find one of those companies but these don't come that way so you're gonna have to do a little customizing to put in a little work to make it look good and that's why y'all wigs be looking a mess because y'all don't want to do all that so if you don't want to do all that then don't don't there ain't no need for all that there ain't no need for all that in the comments i shouldn't have to do that that's too much. I'm not going to do all that. Then don't. Okay? Just don't complain when you look wiggy. But anyway, it has three combs in this one. A comb right here in the middle, two on each side in the front, and then one in the back. And it also has adjustable straps and lace in the back as well. Like I said, she's a body wave unit. She's supposed to be 30 inches. She's giving like 24, honestly. It, unless it's just been that long since I had a wig, but this is not giving 30. Like, there's no way you're trying to tell me that this is 30, even stretched. What's this? But anywho, so I just wanted to unbox it real quick because I didn't want to wait till the day that I actually filmed. So fast forward to the day that I'm actually doing the install and all that good stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and open it. Okay, bye. 
All right, y'all, I am back and ready to try out the blonde wig, ready to install this blonde wig. Hopefully this goes well. We're gonna be toning the hair ash blonde and we'll be plucking it. So I'm gonna start out with toning the hair. I'm a little nervous because y'all saw how the last video went and I ain't even did nothing to it. All it was pluck the wig and then when I washed it, it went bald. So I don't know, but I hope, you know, this goes a little bit better than that. So anyway, I'm gonna get ready to tone the wig. Y'all see it's blonde right now, kind of yellow. I don't do yellow blonde wigs, uh-uh. If you wear your wigs yellow blonde, like straight out of the box like that, I don't trust you. And I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm gonna show y'all the products I'm gonna be using real quick. So I have two boxes of the Wella Color Charm Toner in T35. I'm gonna be using two boxes of this. And I got 30 Volume Developer. This is the Superstar brand. Got it from the Beauty Supply store, it really doesn't matter. I got the toner from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, it really doesn't matter, developer brand. I don't feel like a developer is a developer to me. But I got 30 Volume Developer. And then I got some even spray to spray on the lace and the knots while we're applying the toner. So yeah, and then of course I have my mixing bowl with my brush, some gloves, and a rat tail comb to help comb the products through. But I'm gonna be working on just this table right here i'm not using no hot water or like water coloring it i've seen some people do it like that i've toned the wig before icy blonde and i learned that method i'll link that video i learned that method at a lace class with alonzo arnold and i just did it on the table just like i learned in the class that's how it was done just on the table with a trash bag just pour your products all over the hair so i don't have like no bucket or no hot water it's just toner and developer so yeah let's get started i'm gonna put my gloves on and mix up the toner first i'm also gonna wet the hair because you're supposed to work on towel dried hair damp so i'm gonna wet the wig before we start to mix up the toner like i said i got two bottles so for every bottle of toner you're gonna do two parts developer so since i have two bottles of toner i'll be doing four bottles full of developer not four bottles of this i'm gonna fill up these bottles in here four times with the developer if that makes sense y'all will see when i do it actually let me wet the wig first and then spray this even on here so it can be drying and then we'll mix it up all right so the hair is damp i wet it and then dried it with a t-shirt so now let's spray the lace with the even spraying All right, I'm gonna let that sit for now. Just sit that off to the side. So again, for every one bottle of toner, you do two parts developer. Just fill up this bottle twice with developer. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my other bottle. Hopefully this bowl big enough. And like I said, just gonna fill up this bottle twice for every one bottle. So since I have two bottles, I'm gonna do four bottles full, like I mentioned before. So there is one bottle. There's two. Ooh, this is starting to look a little full. There's three. And four. Gee, I'm gonna be a little careful stirring this up because it's right at the edge. It's right at the edge of the bowl right here. We're just gonna mix this up. Child, I can't even stir this. I'm just gonna be gentle because I'm not finna go get no other bowl. We're just not doing it. It's in here now. I also recommend wearing a mask with this. This stuff is strong. It's just like bleaching knots. I have not done this since that video three years ago. I haven't toned a blonde wig with like actual toner. Probably the other times that I've worn blonde wigs, I just use purple shampoo. Like just washed it with purple shampoo. But I have not done the toner since that video three years ago. I hope this turned out cute because I low-key want to do Icy Blonde again because I just love how the Icy Blonde looked before. But I've already done that and I kind of wanted to try something different with blonde. I also did a blonde wig with like low lights, like streaks, brown low lights. I think that's what you call them. I don't know. It turned out cute. I did that um, the year I graduated from college. It was 2021. So it was two years ago that I did that. So now I'm trying Ash Blonde. I think we got it pretty mixed up, y'all, and I didn't lose none. I didn't slosh none out of the bowl or nothing. Cause yeah, I was not finna go get no other bowl. It was in there. Okay, I think we're good now. I think this is as mixed up as it's gonna get. Look kinda nasty. <laughs> Ooh, 
Okay, and then literally all I'm gonna do is pour this all over it, work it through with the comb, work it through with my hands, flip it over on the other side, work it through from that way. And that's all I'm doing. So I'm gonna just let y'all watch me do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure you're working it all the way through. Open up the wig like this if you need to, to get up in there. So yeah, that's what I'm finna do. And then the good thing about this method with the trash bag, when you done, all you gotta do is ball this up and throw it in the trash. You ain't gotta wash no bucket out or none of that. And we love saving a dish. All right, y'all, so I have applied all the toner, worked it through best I could. So this is what it's looking like right now. You can see it, you know, turning a little bit. But yeah, so now we're just gonna let this sit for like 30 minutes and then we'll wash it out. And then I'll see how the color looks when I rinse all of that out because I really want it to be like cool tone. So I might go over it with some purple shampoo, like do a little purple shampoo bath. When I get ready to wash it, depends because I want it to be like a cool tone. So we'll see how the color is looking by the time I rinse it out. But yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes and then we'll do all of that and then move on to the next step. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, I'm doing the purple shampoo bath that I was telling y'all about. Like I said, the color is fine. I just wanna make sure that it's like a cooler tone of an ash blonde because I've seen ash blonde before or like people do ash blonde wigs and tone their wigs and it's like a little bit more of a warmer tone of an ash blonde and I don't want that. So I did see somebody do like a little purple shampoo bath after they toned it just to, to give it a cool tone. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna leave it sitting in here for a few minutes, 10 probably, and then I'll come back and actually wash it out with the shampoo and conditioner.
All right, y'all, so now I'm about to start plucking. This is what we're looking like, but y'all see the full color when it's dry. I'm gonna start plucking. All right, y'all, we are done plucking. This is what it's looking like so far. I really can't tell like if I really even did anything, but I think it looks pretty good though. And then here's how the color looks now that the wig is dry. It was a little harder to see with it wet. It is shedding a lot as well. I have noticed when I brush it and when I was brushing it, like the excess plucked hair out, but at least it's not shedding out of the frontal like the last one it's just i think it's the back because i can comb through the frontal and it doesn't really shed as much but like the tracks that's where a lot of the shedding i see is coming from but this is blonde hair i did tone it so i did expect that also it's a timu wig and i didn't have high expectations after the last one so yeah but it is shedding a lot a lot more than i'm used to even for a blonde wig it's shedding in the back that could be from when i toned it like you know because i did process the hair and it is blonde hair and blonde hair is you know more fragile a little more brittle than like a 1b but yeah this is where we are so now let's install all right y'all time to install her i hope everything goes well after this point because i don't know that last team wig just got me nervous it's just like i just don't know what to expect at any point at any step but this is what the wig looks like right now i've applied makeup to the lace i've done my bald cap as you can see now i'm not going to be using boho today I'm doing like a full-on install like i normally do or like i did in my last video with the amazon wig if you did not see that one you need to make sure you check that one out cheap amazon wig i know y'all love those videos and that's a really good one like i highly recommend it i don't know why i'm so late to the party with these sensational wigs and i'm kind of mad that nobody was trying to put me on beforehand what's going on but i'm just going to be using the got to be gel in the black bottle and the even spray i'm gonna apply this as if it was bold hole you know like you know dotted across the cap and my skin you know and then spray this just like a normal install except i'm replacing bold hole with this got to be gel like i said it is shedding a lot more after i toned it and washed it out but it's not balding so i'm i'm happy about that but it is shedding a lot like more than i'm used to for a blonde wig so i don't want to have this in that long because that's gonna drive me insane like having all that hair everywhere like it's already here on me now just from the wig sitting on me and i can't take that i cannot leave this in like glue it down mm -mm. So I'm just going to spray it down because I'm not having it in that long. But I did want to install her and give a review. And I'll probably wear her for like two or three days. But I'm not going to have this in long anyway because next week's vlog will be Halloween stuff. So yeah, I'm not wearing a wig for Halloween. I'm wearing my hair. And I'm going to be braiding my real hair. So I'm going to have to wash my hair and blow dry it at some point during the week for next week. So I'm not going to have this in long anyway. And I got a whole bunch of stuff to do that week. And I'm going to have to do my hair like earlier in the week so I can have time to do everything else because we're having a Halloween party on my mom's side of the family. Uh, we just started back doing our annual Halloween party. We did it like over 10 years ago and then we never did it again. And we just started back last year. So we're doing it again this year and I'm a host so yeah i'm gonna have a lot going on next week but i will vlog it i think either sunday's vlog for next week will either be my costume like me getting ready 
for the party, like me showing y'all my costume. And then I think on Halloween, which won't be a Sunday, or I'll wait till next Sunday. Either way, the, the vlog after that will be like the Halloween party vlog. Like us putting everything together and doing the food and decorations because I'll be doing decorations. I'm on desserts. My mom is doing most of the food. I gotta come up with games. We have a hundred dollar costume contest. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. So yeah, that's what's going on next week. So I'm not gonna have this in long anyway because I got too much going on next week. I hope my costume turns out just like I want it to. It's gonna be really cool. Something different as far as costume goes because I've never done anything like this. So y'all stay tuned for that. But anywho, I'm still gonna do all the normal steps. So we're gonna prep the skin first. Y'all already know Trusty Dusty. 91% isopropyl alcohol. Clean the skin, the area around the forehead and where the weave is gonna be glued down. Okay, and then next I'm applying the Boho Skin Protect. Now, even though I'm not using Boho, and I normally don't apply this when I'm not actually gluing my wig down, but then I thought about it and I was like, even though I'm not gluing it down like fully or like using Boho glue, doesn't mean I can't put on Skin Protect. Like my skin still needs to be protected under the wig, even with just a spray down. So I'm still gonna apply this. It's my first time doing this with a spray down, but it just, you know, kind of clicked in me. Like it still will make sense to still apply it, even though you're not, using glue i still need the protection under there supposed to protect your skin from like sweat and oils and all that up under there where you can't really get to and clean underneath there when you wash your face so yeah all right now let's put the wig on i hope it fit Okay, it definitely fits. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna hot comb some of these flyaways back out of the way, cause they show flying. All right, let's put these combs in. Okay, now we're gonna trace out the hairline and where we're gonna apply the gel. So I'm just gonna use this white eyeliner pencil. I prefer to use the white one with blonde wigs instead of my black eyeliner pencil because when I pull the lace back, sometimes it get on here and black don't come off as well. All right, now I'm just gonna apply the gel behind this line, smooth it out like I would boho. And I'm gonna lightly spray some of this on top of that, pull the lace down, spray some more on top of the lace, and then tie it down. All right, and I'm gonna take my popsicle stick and smooth it out. I'm lightly spraying some of this. All right, now I'm gonna blow dry it on hot for like 10 minutes. You wanna make sure it's dry so you don't pull your wig off like apparently some people have been doing when you take the band off. All right, now I'm just loosening up these hairs that are like Spray down and plastered to the lace. And I'm just using the comb side of an edge brush to do that since the teeth are so small on it. All 
All right, now I'm gonna cut the lace off. I'm gonna just cut it into sections. All right, so I got the lace cut off. I'm gonna have to spray some more right here and right here, but we are gonna tie it down again anyway. So I'm gonna clean all of this off my forehead, just using some alcohol. Did I make my lace a little too dark? Cause I have to mix my lace color. So I use my Fenty foundation shade and then like a little bit of a darker shade. I think I put too much of the dark. All right, so I'm just gonna go along the edges with some more spray and tie it down one more time. I'm not gonna spray it directly on the lace. I'm gonna spray it on this popsicle stick and then like apply it like that, you know? All right, now I can start styling while this sits. So I'm probably just gonna do some barrel curls, middle part, hot comb it, probably cut some layers or try to, cause I really don't know how to cut layers or nothing about it for real. I mean, like I just cut like everybody else be doing like at an angle. That's all I know, but I'm gonna try to do that. But I'm gonna cut the ends first because I've seen people say like, you know, cutting your ends on your wigs gives it more body and get rid of them scraggly ends that be on all these wigs. So that's what we'll do. I'm just gonna cut straight across. I'm gonna cut to here. It's giving thin, but we're gonna keep going. Now I'm gonna do my middle part. So now I'm taking my Eben wax stick and I'm gonna just hot comb this part and some of these flyaways. I don't wanna put too much of this. All right, so now I can start curling the hair. So I'm just gonna section it off. First, I'm gonna apply some of this Bio Silk, just a little bit to the hair before I start. Yeah, you ain't gonna need a lot of product anyway with this wig, cause the wig already thin. So it ain't that much area to cover. And then while I'm curling the hair, I'm gonna be spraying some of this Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray to each section before I curl it. And then I'll spray like the whole head after. So yeah, I'm gonna let y'all watch me do that. If you don't know how to barrel curl and y'all want like a little mini tutorial on how to barrel curl, I can do that. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube on that already. So, you know, you're more than welcome to look at those. That's how I learned. But if you just want me to make one, let me know. I will do that. I'm just let y'all enjoy watching the rest of this. It's just gonna be a time lapse of me curling this hair. I'm just gonna do one side on camera. There's no sense in me doing both.
don't know why it's turning pink like that when I like, I guess like the longer I leave the heat on it, it do that on certain ones. What's up with that? What's that about? All right, one side done. Time to do the other side. Okay, both sides are curled now. So I'm gonna spray everything. And now I'm just gonna put some concealer in the part and then I'm going to bed. And then I'll finish the video tomorrow, take the curls down, do my makeup. I'd rather just do my makeup tomorrow and take my pictures tomorrow. So I'm gonna sleep in this. I'm not gonna take these down. Put this concealer in the part and we'll be done for now. I've been taking the hair down, so yeah. All right, and that's it. So I'll see y'all tomorrow for the takedown and then I'll give y'all my review. Okay, y'all, I'm back. It is the next day. My makeup is done, as you can see. So let's take these curls down. I take these pins down. Hopefully it turned out cute. Hopefully these layers came out cute because like I said, I really don't know too much about that, but we'll see. All right, so now I'm just gonna hit it with the wax stick. Hot comes with these flyaways and everything down. These curls over here done dropped already, so obviously this hair don't hold a curl worth of nothing. I'm about scared to rake them out because obviously they're not gonna last. this it just don't like it's just not the only part that's giving is this and it's so thin anywho whatever i guess this is it this side looks better which of course i did this side last but mm -hmm. anywho i'm gonna give y'all my review and then we'll be done all right y'all so y'all just saw the install and styling and now i'm gonna give y'all my review on this unit um Okay, let's just start with my number one. She is big head friendly. I don't have any trouble getting her on or fighting with it, nothing like that. It went right on. Number two, the lace. I feel like the lace is pretty good on the wig. I didn't have any issues with that. When I toned the hair, I did get some more shedding than I was getting before, which I mentioned, like a lot more shedding than before. But it's nowhere near as bad as that last wig. It's not balding, but it was a good bit of shedding. More than I'm used to even with blonde hair. So there's that. Tangling isn't an issue. Oh, also the length check. Obviously you did not pass length check test. It is definitely not given 30 inches i think it was 30 inches or is it 28 definitely not given 30. the density as you can see this is very thin straight up see-through windex i mean fishbowl clearly does not hold a curl very well even using hairspray before and after the curls it's not holding the front looks okay but it does not hold a curl and this is a body wave wig and i intentionally get body wave wigs to hold curls better but yeah it does not hold a curl like at all like they fell as soon as i took them down there's barely any curl left it would have been cute if it was thicker and the curls held i think this like y'all see this pink ish color in it um these were on sections where i had like the heat on it a little bit longer i noticed that it turned this color when i had the heat on it longer than like some of the other sections. So I guess a tip or what I learned out of that is don't leave the heat on blonde hair for so long, which I already knew that, but I didn't think it would turn it pink. You know what I'm saying? Usually it's like a brownish color. Oh, the parting space is nice. I mean, even though the four inches is only right here, the four inches of parting space, the rest of it, the track stop right here, but you can only part four inches back in this section, which I don't understand why wig companies do that. Like if it's gonna be 13 by four, let it be 13 by four all the way across. But anywho, yeah, I just, I don't like it. Like, it's just too thin. It didn't even hold a curl. So I personally wouldn't recommend it, but you do what you want to with that information. If you want the link to this wig, it'll be down below. Like I said, I don't necessarily recommend it. But if you want to purchase it, the link will be down below. I don't even know what I would rate it. Mm, I'll rate it a 5 out of 10. The potential is there. It's just, it was fuller and I don't know what the issue is with it holding a curl. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. But like I said, I personally wouldn't recommend you spend your money, your hard earned money on this wig. But like I said, you do with the information what you want to. The link will be down below if you want it. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.